Ever wondered how just one sperm out of millions actually finds the egg? It's not just luck, my friends. It is a guided biological mission designed by nature itself. Welcome to MedLife Link, where science meets wonder. After ejaculation, a massive army of about 200 to 300 million sperm are released into the vagina. But their journey is incredibly tough. Only a few hundred will ever make it to the fallopian tube. Most of them don't survive the acidic environment of the vagina or are cleared out by the body's immune defenses. The ones that do survive use their whip-like tails to swim forward. They also use a clever trick called rheotaxis. That means they swim against the flow of the fluid, which helps guide them toward the uterus. It's like swimming upstream in a river to reach a specific destination. Once the surviving sperm enter the uterus, they get a little help. The walls of the uterus contract, gently pushing them along toward the fallopian tubes. At the entrance of the tubes, there is a very narrow opening called the uterotubal junction. Only the strongest and most determined sperm can pass through this checkpoint. Research from the University of California, San Diego, published in 2018, showed that these muscular contractions and the very shape of the tube act as a mechanical guide, literally funneling the sperm toward the egg. Now, this is where it gets really fascinating. The sperm cells can actually smell the egg. It sounds incredible, but it's true. Studies published in journals like Nature Cell Biology and Science Direct have shown that the egg and the cells surrounding it release special chemical signals, like the hormone progesterone. These signals act as a kind of chemical GPS. Sperm with the right receptors can detect these signals and are attracted to swim in the right direction. This amazing process is called chemotaxis. But wait, there's more. Temperature also plays a crucial role. According to research from the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel, the part of the fallopian tube where the egg is waiting is slightly warmer, about half a degree Celsius higher than the rest of the tube. Sperm are sensitive enough to detect this tiny temperature difference and naturally swim toward the warmer area. This is called thermotaxis. So they are not only following a chemical trail, but also a biological heat map to find their target. So after this long and difficult journey, out of the initial millions, usually less than a hundred sperm manage to reach the egg's immediate surroundings. But only one will be the winner. This single sperm binds to the egg's outer protective layer, called the zona pellucida. This binding triggers something called the acrosome reaction, where the sperm releases enzymes that help it break through and penetrate the egg. The moment fertilization happens, the egg instantly puts up a biochemical shield, which stops any other sperm from getting in. This is nature's brilliant way of making sure there's only one unique genetic combination. So, you see, the sperm's journey isn't random at all. It's a highly sophisticated biological mission that combines swimming against the current, following chemical signals and sensing temperature changes. From an army of millions to just one successful union, this is the incredible process of how life begins. If you find the science of human biology as amazing as we do, please follow MedLifeLink for more real, research-based explanations about the miracle of life. Thanks for watching.